Hello everyone, my name is Tax Alba and welcome back to the Lovecraftian video game retrospective and welcome to Eldritch Hunter. Eldritch Hunter is a 2D puzzle platformer in which you take the role of a little girl that has to liberate her village from horrible Lovecraftian abominations that have infested it. The game is a platformer as I said before. You take the role of your main character and your goal is to progress through every stage, usually through jumping, dodging, shooting or using other weapons. And your main goal is always to kill one of the servants of the Eldritch Abominations or to defeat a boss if it's a boss level. And naturally to do that you have to avoid all kinds of traps, pitfalls and other monsters. And there's quite a different variety of monsters, all of which have a different shtick. Some of them explode when you destroy them, so you have to watch out when you actually destroy them. Some of them generate other monsters, others leave slime behind if you destroy them, so you have to watch out when you destroy them. So you have to think careful when to destroy and how to destroy all the different enemies, so there's a nice nice bit of variety here. And your character only has a single hit point, so once you touch any enemy or spikes or whatever, it's game over. But thankfully you can always start right back at the beginning of the level you're currently in, and most levels are just a couple of screens long, so it never gets too frustrating and the game doesn't just send you back to the beginning. The game looks beautiful. Uh, all the graphics are hand drawn and my only complaint is really that your main character and some of the monsters look a little bit stiff when they move but overall the game looks really nice it's also quite colorful as a result obviously it's not a very scary game and even though it does feature a lot of Lovecraftian themes visually it's not a real horror game but since it doesn't really aspire to be one anyway that's not really a problem the music is actually quite nice I found it a bit too repetitive though but nevertheless it is a nice soundtrack with regard to length, the game can be rather lengthy. It has only a couple of stages which are divided into sub-stages, but I found the game to be almost punishingly difficult, especially the boss fights. Some of the levels aren't too bad, and occasionally you can just pull a stunt and try to rush towards the, the main enemy you have to kill, who looks like a servant of the Yellow King. And with bosses that's not really possible. Bosses have a rather long health bar, and if you just take one hit, then it's game over. So I found the game to be almost a little bit too difficult but I have to admit that I'm not exactly an expert at these games so if you're a fan of slightly more similar games maybe games like Super Meat Boy or Bullet Hell games that have a equally high frustration factor then this is probably the right game for you. I would give it a recommendation but only if you like these types of games and only if you don't exactly expect a true horror experience here. The game also times your time so if you want you can try to complete it as fast as possible I prefer to take my time, but that's really up to you. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.